So, Slaughterhouse. It's a pretty hard level. One might even call it the hardest extreme demon ever. Just kidding. It's only the fourth hardest. Today, I'm going to be playing Slaughterhouse, but with a little bit of a twist. Every time I die, I nerf the level. You know what? Let's just jump right in. Let's see. First attempt. First attempt. Nice! So here we are at literally the first spike you can die to in the level. <laughs> I'm simply just going to select both of these spikes and scale them down. Perfect. So, attempt number two. Let's try this out. Never mind, Geometry Dash crashed because this level has too many objects. That might be a problem. So I think if I save and then exit and then play, it'll be good. So now let's do attempt number two. Oh, oh, oh! Swag, bro! 2%! Let's go! I am the god of Geometry Dash. <laughs> I should replace this text with something stupid. Look at that. Vortrox is god. <laughs> Anyways, I died right here and I honestly don't know what killed me. So I guess I'm supposed to like jump in between these spikes, but like it's an invisible block. Okay, I believe this structure is fully nerfed, so let's save. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Attempt number three. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Easy, bro, easy. I doubled my last record. All right, so as you can barely see, because this level is so freaking dark, I made all these spikes little tiny itty bitty boys. So let's slay this level now. Okay, or not, or not. While I was nerfing this spike, I realized that there's like a little text at the beginning. See, look, Ice Cave OG Slaughterhouse. Welcome to the end of the world. That's honestly really cool. Like, I never noticed that. Anyways, let's play. Okay, 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 let's do this. All right, easy. What? Why did I die? I actually don't know what killed me. Okay, so for some reason, there's like an invisible spike right here. I don't know why, so I'm just gonna delete that. Nice, bro. I died. I've been slaughtered by the house. Yep, I completely messed that up. So what you're supposed to do is like do a jump from like right here like in between this and jump off this corner and then up again But that's like dumb hard. So we're just getting rid of all of that. <laughs> that's more like it Easy bro easy Not easy, but you get it. I really wonder what the song is saying like I cannot interpret it. Ooh, upside down cross so demonic What? Why did the pink, the pink pad just didn't do anything? What? Was that a bug or is it supposed to do that? All right, we're at the black and white part again. Nice, I got one click farther. See, I think Slaughterhouse is an awesome level and I love it. But the only thing I don't like is how for a lot of this whole beginning section, like you can't see anything. Like in the editor, you can see it. But when you're actually playing, there's like a black overlay that just blocks everything, which is really annoying to be honest. So what I'm gonna do is find that overlay. I see that the big black overlay is on group 8 and 84, but 8 is the one changing the invisibility, I think. So what I'm going to do is get all of these triggers that say 8 on them and get rid of them. <laughs> and now look, you can actually see a little bit. And why is that pad not working? What a weird glitch. So to fix this weird little pad bug, I just got it and put another one there. So at least one of them got to work, right? <laughs> I really don't know why it's bugging out like that, but I think it should be good now. I think just because this is like a super hard extreme demon, there's only like one way to play it. So like any bug is just from not playing it right. And of course, since I'm nerfing it, I'm playing it absolutely wrong. So uh, hopefully this works out a little better. And no, it's not. What? Why is it not working? Why? I've never seen a bug where the it just doesn't work. Like what? Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. This time it actually worked. Wait, how did I just... Bro, what? I actually got, like, a nice jump. Like, from 10 to 15%. Yeah, bro, what? How did I just do all this? All right, well, I guess I can't nerf that because I passed it. I I'm, like, very surprised by that. Like, I never even thought I'd get through a couple percent of this level unnerfed. But I don't think that's going to happen again, so I'll take what I can get. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. So I'm just going to move this structure over, like, just, like, that much. So let's see now. Oh, my God. I actually got through that ship again. What the heck? You're that guy, pal. Trust me. You're that guy. And the only reason I died there is because it's freaking invisible. Thanks to Mr. End. Like, at least make it visible, bro. Like, these spikes are impossible to see. You know what? I don't like them so much, I'm getting rid of them. Screw that. No invisible spikes in this level. This is the only one I'm dealing with. <laughs> okay, that was inevitable. The fact that I got through that ship twice without dying is a miracle. 
Okay, new record, new record, I think. Oh my god, there's a dash orb there. Of course, and you can't see it. I can't stand these freaking extreme demons, bro. I don't know how people play these. <laughs> Like, seriously, though, when you actually play these extreme demons, it makes you realize how insane it is that people actually beat this stuff. And I haven't even gotten to the drop yet in this level, which is, like, the hardest thing ever, ever. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. There's a dash orb. There's a dash orb. And more spikes. I can't see. <laughs> totally not going crazy. I'm not even 20% into this level, and I'm at the easy part. Because we scroll just a little bit over, we see freaking this. This is absolute madness. Okay, okay, oh, bro, did I seriously just die to a single spike? That's just embarrassing, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, how am I supposed to nerf that, bro? It's one spike. Nah, you know, what threw me off, though, is there's a portal right here, and I forgot it was there, so I'm just gonna make it visible so I can actually see when I go mini. I think that'll make it easier. Okay, 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 what do we got next? Oh! <laughs> yeah, no, I don't even know where to start with that. So, yeah, I guess I'll begin by just moving this structure up and, like... Setting a mental note that I should not click here because I like clicked and died here, which should not happen. And man, nerfing this takes forever, bro, because I got to go through every single layer and select all the right objects. Okay, that literally took like a full minute to select this structure, but now we're just going to move it up. Bro, <laughs> this is not going to work out. So this thing is literally impossible. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is like add these blocks in. Put them on group one, which I would assume is, yes, that is the invisible group. Then I'll use the handy dandy D blocks and put them on either side. This way you can slide as the wave and you have a little more time to actually get onto this. Then these spikes gotta go. I've devised an ultimate plan to nerf this. I made these fake spikes out of slopes, but you can't touch the slopes, so it doesn't matter. You can just glide right through them and they still look like real spikes. And I put D blocks all inside, so theoretically I could just slide in now. Let's give this a go. Okay, no. Let's try this once more. Okay, that is progress. All right, let's give this another attempt. We'll try to get to the drop, which, you know, shouldn't be that hard, to be honest. <laughs> Look at these jumps. They're like literally single spike jumps. But let me, let me not get too cocky. I can still mess this up. Not free. Just kidding. I could be cocky. <laughs> Easy, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 29% <laughs> and wow, the beginning of the wave is easy now. See, as you can see, this is all like super nerfed and then this is not nerfed. And of course, where did I die? The super not nerfed part. So I'm starting to learn what object is on what layer because this is like a lot of work to actually buff. You know, I'm actually just going to get rid of this one and I'm just going to move the little one up here. That spike can go. I'm just going to move this structure down like down here i think that's fair this boy's going down and you know what mini wave will just make anything in this completely impossible so i'm just gonna get rid of this mini portal because that's just crazy bro so you go mini here again anyways so whatever look at all this beautiful nerfing going on you know i have a funny feeling that my next death is gonna be rather this spike or this bike and if we're lucky maybe this bike but you don't know till you try so let's just do this dude even though this is like easy now this level is still is such an intimidating atmosphere and song that's why Slaughterhouse is so epic. And hard. <laughs> Very hard. Like, the fact that it's four times speed wave just makes this literally so hard no matter what you do. Like, I will never understand how there's players who just actually play this stuff and beat it. Like, especially later on when you get to, like, this part. Like, look at how insanely, ridiculously hard this is. Like, there's human beings that just do this. Albeit very few of them, but still. I have such massive respect for people who could play stuff like this. Like, seriously. Kudos to you guys. I'll stay in my lane and just work on nerfing these extremes demons <laughs> just taking away all your hard work but i guess to make this click easier i'll just add some ramps here and put some more d blocks on them so you could slide so if for some reason i forget to click which is very likely because it's just such a fast reaction i'll just slide up to this structure and be fine oh yeah second spike we take that so I think the only way I can nerf this is just by making it require less clicks. Because as of right now, you have to click like... And that's just unfair. Okay, okay, new record, new record. 36%, let's go. And surprisingly, I actually got through this little straight fly section right here. It may only be eight blocks long, but I mean, hey, I'm still pretty impressed with myself. But yeah, I ended up dying here. So I'm just getting rid of a bunch of these spikes and I made this yellow orb a lot bigger so it's harder to miss. And you know what, I'll do the same with the green orb too. 
Okay, yeah, I expected to die at that straight fly. I just got lucky that first attempt. So I've selected this entire structure right here. And I'm just gonna Come move it up. up. Okay, okay, I take it. 1% upgrade to our score. And you know, I think I died in a very reasonable spot. Because, uh, just look at this straight fly. <laughs> it just keeps on going and going. Until you get to this awesome art, which is in every slaughterhouse thumbnail. Rightfully so. It's awesome. But, uh, yeah, this ship section gotta be heavily nerfed. Because <laughs> this is crazy. Come on now. Hey, look at this. That's easy now. That... That is not easy. This entire process so far has just been me getting to a new section, nerfing said section, passing said section, and then just recycling the process. I get to the next section, and then I have to nerf the entire thing because it's just so hard. Low key, I feel like this is just way too hard in every respect. Like, I don't even know how you're supposed to get past this. So I think what I'm going to do is like add slopes to these structures. So you kind of just like slip and slide through the section. <laughs> Let me just show you what I mean. Now look at this. It all looks perfectly normal, right? Wrong! I added a whole bunch of these slopes, like, coating around the spikes. So you can just kind of glide down here. You hit the pad, you bounce up, and then these are all fake half spikes I made, which don't look entirely accurate, but, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, this ball part is really hard. It's kind of a cool idea, though. Like, I like how the arrow is the correct orb. And the X's are all the fakes. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the red orbs, I guess. Just to make it so you cannot hit those even on accident. Okay, so for this part, I made it partially auto just because it's so impossible at the time. So you just click up, hit the pads. This orb you actually do have to click. So I think that one's doable. And then again, you go up, hit these pads, down, hit this pad, and then into the hardest part of Slaughterhouse. If it wasn't apparent by this text, get ready to <laughs> die. Also, I want to show you guys a fun fact about this part. So if you use the show hitboxes hack, you can actually see there's a hidden snowman in this part. <laughs> Here's his little face, and then his snowman body. Ice Cave, the creator of Slaughterhouse, confirmed this easter egg on Twitter, and he said that the snowman's name is Snowy Coast, which is actually a reference to a Team Fortress 2 map by the same name. There's your Slaughterhouse fun fact for the day. Now back to suffering. I suffer for your guys' pleasure, and if you are pleased by my suffering, you should totally like and subscribe, so it at least makes it worth it for me. Yeah, no, <laughs> I did not think I was getting anywhere in that part. But hey, 49%, we're about halfway done. But yeah, nerfing this is gonna be a nightmare, because, <laughs> dude, just look at all these objects I have to pick through to move. Oh, slaughterhouse. You guys better gas this video up. Make sure you like this, because this has taken a lot of work. But it's all worth it, because I love making videos for y'all. This is what I have to look through to try to find the objects, bro. Bro, this looks like my freaking pastel titanic dragon. This, like, huge black bar covering the gameplay randomly is really making me mad so i'm just yeeting it out of existence we shall have none of that around here nerfing this is really a challenge because no matter what i do it's still hard like let me show you something quick like look at this you got four times mini wave even with literally a 10 block space it's still hard but to be honest i think i just gotta like baby proof this part <laughs> like add a bunch of cushioning everywhere like floaties in a pool many hours later like seriously several hours later I've absolutely destroyed the hardest part of Slaughterhouse, and I apologize, River. I apologize. So basically, I put these slopes around every single structure, that way you can't die to them. Sort of like an insane asylum, because I know some of you guys have been in those, right? Just me? Okay. And don't worry, I kept Snowy Coast in. But yeah, to make it so you could slide on all of these things, I added a D block here, which as I explained earlier, lets you slide on stuff. But instead of getting like a million of these and placing them all over this entire part, I had the idea to just put one here, put it on a group, which is 238. So then the move trigger locks it to player X, so it'll go along the screen with it. And then the follow player Y trigger, you guessed it, makes it follow on the Y axis. So now when you play, you can just slide on everything without having to worry. Oh, I'm in a driver's word! Let's go! Ah! Oh my god! New record! Let's go! So now it's time to nerf the UFO part. Sometimes I forget there's a UFO in Slaughterhouse, like, when I think of Slaughterhouse, house i just think of cube wave ship cube that's it <laughs> but there is in fact a ufo part in here albeit brief so i'll move some structures around all the saw blades i moved out of the way and i'm scaling up these orbs just so you have more time to hit them you know and i think i figured out a genius way of nerfing the rest of this so all these structures have move triggers and move them up a block which makes it like super tight and hard so what i did was find those move triggers and eliminate them from existence Okay, 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 let's do this, let's do this. 
Oh, okay, 69%. Nice. Okay, after some serious nerfing, I think I'm finally ready to do another regular attempt. Let's do this, Brutus. Preferably, let's not die anywhere stupid before I can actually get there. Because, you know, that's something that could definitely happen. But let's not jinx it. No! I just didn't click. That was just a stupid death, but I guess the only thing I could do is just add a row of blocks that you could slide on. So I gotta just put effort into not being stupid. That's kind of asking for a lot. Let's freaking do this, bro. I'm tired of messing around. Are you kidding? What did I die to, bro? Oh my god, yo. Like, straight up, I feel embarrassed, bro. I'm literally raging at, like, two-star slaughterhouse. Actually, nah, this is still, like, an easy demon. Like, I really got through all this straight fly just to die to this little goofy-ass spiker here. I'm just yeeting this spike out of existence. I don't care. I'm getting rid of this one, too. And this one. Screw it. I don't like any of them. This guy can stay, though. He's fine. We'll name him Gungus. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this text here. Gungus the spike. Feel free to say, hello, Gungus. Now, if I die to Gungus, we're going to have a big problem. This is going to turn into a civil war. I'll switch up on Gungus. I don't care. I just noticed something really cool about this beginning part. So, like, look at all the structures at the top and listen to how they sync to the song. See that? They, like, go down to the voice of the song. That's actually super cool. That's a really cool detail. Like, actually playing this level, you notice there's quite a few cool details. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, 77% new record. I don't even know what I died to, to be honest. It wasn't Gungus though, so we're good. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say it was probably the Sawblade. Oh my God, yo. Bro, bro. One more time and this whole part's getting removed. One more time at that part and this whole part's getting removed, bro. Whole thing. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I don't even care no more, bro. I don't even care. Where is it? Where is it? Bro, I agree with Zoink, so his whole part's getting freaking removed. <laughs> Done. That's the end of it. Stupid part, bro. I just made Slaughterhouse 10 times better. 10 times better. God, man, it's actually playable now. I love this. Okay, 90%. Okay. We're almost done. This has only taken like seven hours out of my time. So at last, we finally made it to the final straight fly. And obviously, I'm not getting past that, bro. Let's not even try to do that. So what I'm going to do is look at all the groups these spikes have, which is 901. Okay, they're all in the same group. So 901 or 902 are found right here. And instead of moving it up 10, which is the equivalent of one block, I'm going to do five. And then I'll do negative five, which will give me a full block of extra space. So let's see if that's enough. Maybe we can finally get to the last part of the level after lots of pain and suffering and slaughterhousing. All right, let's do this, let's do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? What? How did I just get past that? Imagine I would've beat it. Dude, I think I actually just died to the last jump. What the, <laughs> what? Okay, I forgot to record apparently, but uh, I died at pretty much like every jump here after that fluke I had. And now they're all nerfed. Yeah. I also just want to throw in real quick. I think this is like the coolest decoration ever. Like CD music definitely did the best in this whole level. This is awesome. Anyways, let's play from zero and please beat this. I'm just so hungry for some nachos, man. And as soon as I beat this, I can eat those nachos. Ooh, I got the cheese. I got the meat. I got the lettuce. I got the Tostito scoops. And I got the onions. Can't forget the onions. Those are my favorite part. See, I used to hate onions, but now I love onions. Like they're like actually so good. Like, they're just good on everything, bro. They just add such a nice flavor. But you're not gonna catch me, like, taking a bite out of an onion, you know? Time to focus on freaking Slaughterhouse. Otherwise known as Nacho House. Why did I click? Why did I click? Why did I do that? I've had enough, bro. This level, man.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah! Nacho time, baby! I don't know why I'm so hyped. That was literally like a super nerfed, super slaughter nerf. You get the point. But I do not care because I'm happy because I'm hungry and I want nachos. Y'all, I'm about to freak out. I just looked and there's no taco meat in the fridge. And I look around. Well, where's the taco meat? Bro, it's on the stove. It's been sitting there for like 24 hours. That is old, bro. There's like bacteria going on that. If I eat that, I'm about to turn into a fungus. And you know, I don't want to be a fungus. I want to be a Vortrox, so I guess we'll have to find some backup. I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed, comment your thoughts on the video, and yeah, I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Have a great day.